My name is Praveen Kumar. I'm 36 years old, still not married. My name is Surinder Kumar. I am 57 years old. I am unmarried. My name is Manish. I'm 23 years old, still unmarried. <laughs> and there are many more men like them here in this village. This is Bagpat region in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Once this place was famous for its sugarcane produce, but today it's facing a very different problem. There are just not enough girls. And the ratio between young boys and girls in this place is one of the worst in India. It's not hard to understand why. In the beginning, if a couple has a daughter, then they will wait for a son. But if they have a son at their first attempt, they stop. No one wants a girl. No one waits for a girl. Here people resort to ultrasound and abortion. That's why there are so few girls. Sex selective abortion is illegal in India, yet it still happens a lot. India's preliminary census report says only 837 girls are born for every 1,000 boys. The difference is obvious among children. Young girls like Kalpana stand out among boys her age. Kalpana is lucky. Her family is proud of her. I want her to study, later get a job, maybe a doctor, and then get her married. But that sort of thinking is rare here. I think that a girl is a burden. However, the man is a stick of support for the family. Mahesh Goswami thinks he's lucky to have been married. I couldn't find a bride here, so my father got me a bride from Bihar. That's about 1,200 kilometers away. And many people here say she was sold into the marriage. Situations like this lead to the exploitation of women from poor families. This is a conservative society, but social workers like Amit Kumar try to educate villagers about the imbalance in the number of men and women. To stop division of property if there are four brothers, the ones married, then that brother's wife is pressured to share herself with all other brothers. We couldn't find anyone in this village who was willing to talk about this exploitation. Sunita is fortunate that her husband is the only son of the family. She and her husband Mahesh have two children, a girl and a boy. How will you marry your son? I ask her. We will find someone from somewhere. But in this village, that may not be easy. Nilanjan Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Bagpat in Northern India.